bottle push a gummy Who's the guy to rock down? Check my credibility See I'm less than a bit like Kung Fu Kenny My rap was in the economy Spitting like my last time Firing shots and melodies That's why I do a front time This my story of OJ My story of OJ My success comes from my brain I'm a green like my rings Still enjoying my wave Even my dream I never see you Cause I'm already wavy e e e like styles from air, anytime my beast mode is activated, man, enjoy your nightmare. Uh, measure my name to push your flow, Jimmy Ralph is a rock code. Yo, so I'm back again to serve my people, my subscribers, my viewers with another updates about the entertainment industry. And uh, kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected because it's a beautiful, brand new day, brand new night, depending on wherever you are watching me from. My name is Jimmy Ralph, yeah. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, or yeah, let me say weeks ago, or months ago, um, we all know uh, Riskit, yeah, Riskit Ibrahim Balogun, yeah, lost his beloved mom. Yeah, we made an editorial for that, we expressed our condolences, you know, we came, sh expressed our condolences and all those kind of stuff, and you know, we spoke, you know, everybody was speaking, and so yesterday, yeah, somewhere yesterday, uh, his mom was put to rest or how should i say yeah his mom was buried yesterday and uh yeah actually may her soul rest in peace and once again i will tell you to take part and uh yeah so most uh at the funeral most of uh the nigerian musicians you know came there to support their beloved brother yeah we could see p square we saw uh the legendaries, yeah, the legendary P Square, the Bunch, Tiwa Savage, we saw the likes of um uh oh Wendy Cool, yeah, Wendy Cool, Bumper to Bumper, yeah. We saw Wendy Cool, we saw who L O a whole lot of musicians to the extent of we uh Kim Promise was around, yeah. Kim Promise was around, but now a whole lot of people are not happy with the fact that Bernard Boy uh davido and rima you know didn't show up yeah they were not happy with the fact that they didn't show up and you know there could be several reasons for them not showing up and obviously they are not or apparently they are not in nigeria yeah like uh we also like we all know at the moment you know these musicians don't normally stay in africa they are always gallivanting around the world yeah, they are always touring around the world. Burner Boy touring around the world. Recently he released an album, you know. He's around the world, you know. Like, um, Rima. Yeah, Rima should be outside the country. And with the video, we all know what happened, yeah. So a couple of days ago, we are, I think, yeah. The day before yesterday, or, yeah. Three days or four days ago, yeah. Three days ago, they, I, they, uh, his wife delivered a bouncing baby twins. <laughs> some bouncing baby twins yeah Charlie is that correct uh yeah he delivered a boy and a girl yeah uh Chidima delivered a boy and a girl in Atlanta right in the US of A and yeah uh obviously the video should be around here you know uh having fun like you know enjoying the moment with her because you know it's been about yeah I think it's been about a year since uh he lost his son is it up to a year? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Charlie, right now, I, I don't know why I kind of, you know, I kind of have problem with uh, dates. Yeah. I kind of have problem with dates nowadays. Yeah, so, but yeah, we, we all know that he lost uh, his son, Ifa and Yi, and, you know, may his soul rest in peace. And now that they uh, delivered a new twins, a set of twins, Charlie, I think men should be around his wife, you know, having, you know, chilling with a wife somewhere in the US of A, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, it's obvious that he can't make it, yeah. But we all don't know the conversations that has gone on behind the scene with, uh, between Riskit and these musicians. So people shouldn't come online to, you know, judge. Yeah. People shouldn't come online to, uh, just to judge like why they should have been there and personally i don't think it's compulsory for them to be there maybe they, these guys are not even friends for all you know they are not friends you understand the fact that we are all doing music doesn't mean we are friends 
and if they had come i think it would have been you know added you know something positive but if they don't come i don't see any reason why people should be bashing them on social media that uh why didn't this musician show up you know to support a brother at least uh p square when the co and kim promise from ghana was there and yeah but me personally i don't know why r2b's were uh weren't there i don't know why kill beat were, uh, wasn't there even though okay maybe they were there but i didn't see them in the video because recently uh kill beats lost uh his dad or his mom yeah kill beats you know had a funeral and risk it showed up yeah instead of risk it to vote yeah risk it was supposed to vote but he left the voting and came down to ghana to you know you know uh to, to pay tribute like he came down to ghana to you know uh support his brother uh kill beat so i was actually expecting our two beasts and you know the whole uh gang to also show up at the funeral yeah the burial of uh uh risk kids mom yeah i was actually expecting them to be around yeah i don't know why they didn't show up though but like i told you maybe they weren't but they weren't in the video or maybe they must have you know gotten some business uh somewhere else doing i don't know i don't i don't really know or we all don't know but when it comes to the davido and bernard boys issue i think yeah we all don't know the conversations that has gone on behind the scene between risk kid and uh excuse me we all don't know the conversation that has gone on behind the scene between risk kid and uh bernard boy and davido and oh my god charlie i just finished eating most of the time when i'm doing videos i finish immediately i finish eating that's when i come and sit here talking yeah so that'd be why excuse me <laughs> yeah so the thing you be say yeah so we should stop bashing them like that's what i'm saying yeah we should stop bashing uh david do i mean yeah david do and uh rima and uh and i don't know why they didn't mention any other musicians than these three Ashake wasn't there. Why didn't you mention Ashake? And we have a whole lot. All the Nigerian musicians can be there. Fino can't be there. Fino, just imagine we have Fino, Olamide. Uh, okay, Banky W was there. Um, Fino, Olamide, P Square. Okay, P Square was there. Tu Baba. Uh, a whole lot of like we have millions of Nigerian musicians. They can't all show up. You understand? So I don't know why you people have only limited it to Rema. David do and uh, I don't know why you people are making it compulsory for them to come. Yeah, it's not compulsory. Like, it's not compulsory. It would have been beautiful for them to show up, but I don't know. Like, it's not really, really compulsory to the extent of you, you know, bashing them on social media. Like, I don't see the need for that. I don't see any need for that. Like, Charlie, is the personal? I don't even see any need for that, Charlie. I don't know why you people are gone to the extent of bashing them charlie yeah kindly subscribe to this channel like comment and always stay connected my name is jimmy ruff like comment and always stay connected i'll be back with more fun time bro